people have always said it's scrambling, it's funk, it's that's not gonna work growing up. Um, but it's really to me, it's just wrestling. He's funky, but he's Ironman. He loves to score points, and it doesn't matter how you get that done. Just put him up on the board like a pinball machine. Ding, 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 ding. My entire life, I lived in Columbia, Missouri. My dad really wasn't involved in my life. It was just me and my mom on our own for a long time. And then when I was around six years old, uh, I met Mike Ironman. He dated my mom until I was a freshman in high school. And then they split up. And I still had that feel of Mike Ironman was my father. Even though I wasn't biologically his, he treated me like I was his own blood. And he wasn't only my coach, he's my dad. That's why my freshman year I took his last name. Mike Ironman moved to Missouri because he got the associate head coaching job uh, assistant at Mizzou, and he started working with kids. The first year, like, I never won a match, but I was always smiling. Like, it was something that I, I loved to do. I was an undefeated four-time state champion in Missouri. Growing up, I was always around the Missouri program, and I was able to stay and compete with my dad, you know, continue our journey that we started when I was six years old. We weren't in a battle with Missouri to get him. It was pretty much a foregone conclusion where he was going to end up. I was a three-time All-American at the University of Missouri. I set out to be a four-time national champ because that, you know, who doesn't have that goal? And every year I lost to the eventual national champ. We went to Budapest for the U23 Worlds. I felt like I was the guy to beat at that weight. Beating the Iranian first match and then falling to uh, Kazakhstan. Coming home, it was just it going through my head like, what am I doing wrong? What am I missing? It was me and Mike, we were on our flight back home from Budapest. I told him, I'm like, I think I want to transfer. Every coach in the country was calling me, but in my mind, I knew in my heart where I wanted to go. And that was the University of Iowa. He calls us, or we call him, or whatever happened, and, okay, what's the deal? Well, I'm driving to Iowa City right now. It was that quick. Like, yeah, I'm on my way up right now. Like. I'm ready to get up there and see you guys. We go out to eat, he commits. Well, have you talked to your mom? And James, I'm ready to commit. I'm gonna put it out on Twitter right now, Dad. And I'm looking at the dad like the dad's gonna put the brakes on this thing. And it, oh, go ahead. And I'm like looking at our staff and I'm like, this is way too good to be true here. This is the easiest commit you're ever gonna get because I'm bought in 100% already. And because this is in my heart where I needed to be. We called his, his mother, Heather. One of the first things she said is, you should have listened to me four or five years ago because this is what I wanted for you at the beginning. You belong in Iowa City at the University of Iowa. It's kind of like that I told you some moment. Looking back on it, yeah, I do wish I came here as a freshman my first year, but there's nothing I can change. I just have to live with what happened and accept it and grow from there. Thanksgiving, you know, he sends you a, a long text. I'm so fired up to be here, you don't even know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He thrives on a fanatical wrestling environment. And that, that's what we have here. Once you hit the Big Ten, it's baptism by fire. That doesn't scare him. He wants to wrestle everybody, and you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he wants to wrestle everybody at the same time. It's been since 2010 since we won a national title, and that's not lost on this guy right here. I visualized myself winning that national title over and over again. Every time I close my eyes, I see myself getting that hand raised on March 20th, 2021 at St. Louis, Missouri, where I started my career. I'm excited to go out there and just get it done.